This is Alex Burrell from PR Week. I am at DKC in New York City with President Sean Caskey. Thank you so much for having me here. Great, thanks Alex. Great to be here. Um, so you've been doing a lot of interesting things lately. When we spoke back in, maybe it was February for our agency business report or 2010 agency business report, you mentioned um, that you're going beyond you know, the entertainment lifestyle, sure. um, consumer corporate, and um, diving into public affairs and government affairs with the opening of the Albany office. Sure. Sure. Um, how's that going and how's that impacting the dynamic and, and nature of the agency? It's been terrific. I mean, we still have a very sizable media business and entertainment practice. So it's great. It's always been in our DNA. But interestingly, most of the leadership of the company comes somehow to politics. I'm actually one of the, one of the few who does not. Um, but the other managing directors, all of whom come out of mostly democratic politics. So it was a natural extension for us, since we do a lot of public affairs work and we do a lot of government strategy, to actually formalize that and open up a government affairs practice, which we did up in Albany. And it's done spectacularly for us. That, along with the social networking group that we put together last year, it's enabled us to diversify our revenue at a time that it, this year, especially in a what is a still reasonably unstable economy, it's it's turned out to work out very nicely for us. Right. And uh, any new clients in that area? Are you finding that it's good for new business? Are you finding that it's good for your um, current clients? A bit of both. I mean, there's definitely a fair amount of new revenue has come in, both in the DKC Connect practice and also in the government affairs practice. That said, we are finding equal to the amount of business that's coming in just as new business. Also, we're building onto existing relationships um, where we're combining government affairs and public affairs and public relations and marketing all into one package, which it is an interesting trend. We're definitely finding that clients now are interested in working with agencies that can bring multiple disciplines such as that in one, you know, under one roof. So that's been a, it's been a great way for us to expand or, 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 or lengthen existing relationships. So you mentioned that you're diversifying your revenue. Sure. I mean, what do you expect for 2010? Um, and tell me a little bit about you know why you're expecting uh, those numbers. Sure, we're up about 12 percent in top line revenue this year, so we've done well. I attribute that to the fact that we have this DKC Connect digital practice that we launched, which is its own revenue stream. Like I said earlier, it's a layer, it's an add-on to existing clients, but also it's bringing in its own client base as well. The Government Affairs Group similarly has turned out to be a new revenue stream for us. So. I think 2010 will be a good year from us from a top line perspective. I think that, however, it's it's a more complex operation running now than we had several years ago when it was really just you know it was a similar scope of work. You you mentioned also when we spoke that corporate was kind of leading and sure. you know in growth. What uh, what's going on right now? Which practice area is seeing the most growth, um, and how how do you expect that to change, if at all, um, towards the end of the year? Well, we seen we have a, a, quite a few large corporate clients right now, and what we're seeing there is they are growing their scope of work with us, both across existing brands, but also adding different brands within the new brands to the portfolio. So for us, we see it as a fast way to grow our business and a very fulfilling way because it's based on success within one corporate umbrella that we're seeing, you know, we're seeing add-ons across the board. So that's, to me, I actually think that will be a significant area of growth for us, both in the fourth quarter of this year and then as trending into 2011. Do you think that has to do with external trends, with um, what some of these brands are, are doing, what they're looking to achieve? Um, yeah, I think, well, I think it's a comment on public relations. I think that this industry, provides a result and also provides a, a I think a, a very smart strategic alternative to advertising. So what we're seeing now in this environment where people are looking at where they're spending, particularly you, know, you layer in social networking and, and online services, the public relations as a discipline is, a tr is, is catching the eyes of brand managers. You know, I've been doing this now almost 20 years and there's no question that 20 years ago most of the time the entry point was usually with the vice president of corporate communications or somebody in the public affairs silo. Now more often than not with these larger clients we're finding that we're dealing directly with the CMO uh, or a matrix organization where the corporate communications head is reporting directly to the CMO. So in those relationships there are those, those in those environments rather, there are there are there is a rich opportunity to grow. Subject, I've been hearing a lot about talent a lot of people, <coughs> excuse me, especially in the agency mm -hmm. world, are moving around. A lot of things are opening. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people were happy during the recession, and sure. now they're you know they're getting out. Um, are you noticing that? What's sure. what's going on? Yeah, here? and I don't, actually, I'm not sure if anyone was happy during the recession. I think that people stayed where they the right. people stayed put because it was you know if your agency was doing well, you're reasonably secure. 
there's no question that opportunities have opened up. And we've seen it here, both in terms of people who've sought opportunities elsewhere, and also we've, we've never seen this volume of interest in our agency you know, in terms of application before. So it's really going both ways. But there's no question, I would assume that most agencies now are experiencing some kind of talent flux. And so, you know, some are having layoffs, some are hiring. Sure. Yeah, I, I, I can't count on the layoffs. I mean, you, you know, thank God we, we actually have been able to avoid that this year. In fact, obviously we've grown. But I think, as I said earlier, public relations as a discipline is popular now. Um, it's And as a result, more money is being allocated to it, so companies are staffing up. So that's why you're seeing this flux in the industry. I mean, if it was, if it was an industry where, where there wasn't revenue growth, you wouldn't see people moving around the business that they are. Well, exciting year ahead. Good, I think so. Thanks so much, John.